So while uh, most people are out here reviewing these amazing fellas, I will be reviewing these guys right here from McFarland Toys. The first wave of the 7 inch Fortnite collection. Or kind of. Why don't we review the second wave characters from the McFarlane Fortnite collection? Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Toys in My Closet. It's me, your host, Hebot. Boys and girls, friends and family, I am so happy that you can join me. And today, I'm going to do a quick roundup review, as you see here, of the Wave 2 of McFarlane Toys Fortnite 7-inch articulated figures. As you can see here, from the nice window box packaging, it has 22 parts of moving articulation, a nice Fortnite symbol, the figure at hand, a nice picture of a 3D model polygon of the actual in-game character. And this here is Rex. And for ages 12 and up. As you see here on the side, it says Fortnite as well. With his, the characters in polygon form and artwork. Then you have the back side with seam role-playing action going on here and then obviously a picture of the first two characters from the second wave which is Rex and Drift <coughs> excuse me do you see here the first wave as you see I have them right here and in the first wave in case you guys don't really know we have here Raptor we have here Skull Trooper uh, Cuddle Team uh, I forgot it's Cuddle Team something and we have the Black Knight which is the first four characters in Wave 1 so, we'll come here, and, uh, oh yeah, there's a nice side view here, and, you know, artwork, obviously, in Polygon, 3D Polygon, of the in-game character model, and then the top, as you see there, these just started to come out uh, in the local game stops, uh, you were able to pre-order them back two months ago I believe uh, so what we'll do here is we'll get ready to open it up and I'll skip you I'll skip and save you guys the horror of having to see me pull them out and we'll go straight to the figure once it's out of the packaging I'll be right back now here we have Rex out of the packaging now I'm not really a Fortnite fan, and for those of you who may not, may or may not know, Fortnite is a video game that is out on every platform known to existence. <clears throat> like mobile, tablets, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox, even PC. But, since I'm a of a figure collector and really enjoy really nice figures and figures that are really nicely done and, and um, have a lot of attention to detail 
I appreciate these new Fortnite figures that McFarlane is brought out to the market. And I was very happy with the first wave. And as you can see, we have Rex here with his uh, accessories that he came with, which is three. First is his, what you call it, his, uh, it's like, a, basically it's like a, a sledgehammer with the face of a T-Rex, very nicely painted. It doesn't open, there's no articulation, nice sturdy plastic and really nice colors they have like really they're really eye candy then he has here uh his backpack he stores all his gears and weapons when he's fighting in combat and you know fortnite is very silly he has a lot of different colors it's very silly it's a game where they have the characters dressed up in different silly costumes and battle it out with one another while they build forts to protect themselves. And this was the end tale of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, because that's what he's supposed to be, a T-Rex. And then his last accessory he comes with, certainly not the least one, right? Because it's really awesome, is this bazooka launcher. Has a nice inscription right in there of XOXO and a beautiful artwork on the tip of the missile that looks like a cartoon of a mean face. Very nicely painted, as you can see, with the brown handles and end hilt. Really awesome. Really nice. And then he comes, obviously. Put him here with this simple but nice base that says Fortnite right here. I wish this was maybe in white so, so it can have a sort of a better pop, but nonetheless, it's nice that fi a figure comes with a stand because a lot of figures don't come with stands anymore. And let's take a closer look at Rex right from the front of the camera and you can see his face is a very nice likeness to the character very nicely painted in orange and the white teeth the eyes of the rex as you can see there very nicely painted is his helmet and the green is a nice it's coming off as a really like Hulk-esque type green, but in reality, it's not really that green. It's more like a, a nice uh, uh, olive green almost, but but not so olivey. The camera's making it look a lot brighter, but in person, it's not as Hulk green. Very nice details, clips in the back pocket sculpted in this buttocks area pouch on the side with the red lighting the paintwork is very clean looking very nicely done his gloves with the red with the orange a bandana tied to his uh, uh, bicep and these uh, here are supposed to be the computers I guess where they're keeping uh, tabs of bringing incoming help or asking for help the scarf very nice his uh, straps or bandolier what they call it right to hold the holster of his gun or his gun holster nice gray on the belt little pouch here a lot of nice little shading of greens light greens darker green and even in the outline very nice this is on the legs, the straps, and then the boot, uh, chin covers, and then his boots have like uh, straps in the front as well. And the articulation is really nice because it's here. He has a cut here. 
in the higher stomach area and then in the waist here in this area the head has really nice range of movement even with this helmet it's really awesome that you can make them do all this type of range of movement this face looks really cool yeah, the ball joint there with a ratchet there's another hinge here to make it look like, almost like a butterfly to give it kind of a in and out swivel to hold their guns better swivel here in the upper bicep a double jointed elbow and in the hands or a joint that goes all the way around forwards and backwards then we go here to the legs where it's cut almost like a T form not to break up the skull too much it goes that way but if you turn it it kind of can turn a little this way when you pull it out and it turns to different directions like this then he has a double jointed knee hidden obviously by the protective uh, plate here on his foot shin and then a ball joint on the legs with I believe a tip a tip swivel here on the front of his toes so the range of movement as you get and then you, know, you obviously can go in full range of motion with the ball joint. So the range of movement for the figures is actually really great, especially for being seven inch figures and they're really nice. So we'll put here in the back here, as you can see, we'll put his backpack. If it goes in, hope it does. Looks like it's doing a stressing thing here. It's kind of hard, huh? Anyway, I just put it in That's that far for now. I don't want to break it. Um, let's put his rocket launcher. Uh oh. Rocket launcher in his hand matter of fact let's put it on this one here so we can kind of put it like above his shoulder like this yeah and then we'll put the his staff his tyrannosaurus rex staff in bright yellow and red can i open it because it's kind of tight mm. maybe let's see <clears throat> nice tight nice tight grip there we go so Here we go. So there is Rex, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll put him on the stand here. He will hold and stand nicely. Obviously. He looks pretty awesome. He looks definitely very awesome. And these uh, Fortnite figures are really, really nice. Uh, if, you know, shows the type of quality that McFarlane uh, can bring out with his toys because a lot of people fail to forget that he is the reason why adult toy collecting have become so big 
he basically started the movement. And there is Rex. As you guys can see there. I'm trying to move it where you can see him better. There you go. Really cool, really nice. What I'll do is I'll move them over. And what we're going to do is we're going to showcase now. I'm going to bring in the second character in the wave, which is none other than Tadao Drift. And this figure, oh boy, it's really, really nice and very impressive, especially when you see it in person because all the colors that it has with that black and hot pink it really pops so again move it here you'll see drift here in the window box it says slurps is little uh what you call it uh uh, uh for for when you're in the water his life preserving uh, unicorn thing 22 points of articulation fortnite again a nice display picture of the polygon in-game uh, character model of him drift ages 12 a nice image of him on, on the side top as well it says right there make farland toy as you can see then the side, very nice, Fortnite, with Drift, and then the back as well. And if you notice also, each character comes with the box, comes with different colors. And I think that's what makes these figures so fun, that they have a lot of pretty, pretty colors. So they're very eye candy, even though they're more adult collector figures. So... Again, we'll come back and take let's take Drift out of the packaging. And when we come back, uh, we'll take a better look at him. Uh, I'll be right back. And here we have it, guys. Here is Drift out of the packaging. And Drift is really very eye candy. And I have to say, you know, McFarlane has really stepped it up with this toy line. Or this series, actually, um, of, you know, video game figures. And it's very exciting times. Because uh, recently it was announced that he had gotten the rights to do figures for things like Harry Potter. You know, even things like DC Universe. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, now he also is doing more anime stuff in like Bun Punch Man and My Hero Academia. Uh, and, of course, uh, his other continuing lines like Borderlands and things of that nature and Destiny. So, he said that from this point forward, all his figure lines are going to be articulated like the ones that are you see here with the Fortnite figures. And Drift is really beautiful looking, you know, very, it's just a very eye candy piece. And let's look at his accessories. His three accessories. Here's his hammer or, you know, a staff, mallet. It basically says a uh, slurp juice, which looks like a, uh, the top head, you know, piece looks like a, uh, a beer keg. Uh, this is like a, I guess would be the nozzle that goes all the way down. And you can spray with the attachment here of... The attachment here of what you would spray out when you're serving the beer. So very creative from the you know game itself and translated very well into toy form. The paint job of the silver is very nice, very nicely done. It looks like it's splitting down like when like a slurp, you know, a spillage is coming out from the top of the of the of the keg itself. Then we have his, I guess this would be a, a, a K-47 or machine gun type. Uh, we also seen this one with the uh, team leader 
uh, uh, scuttle team leader over there, as you see. Over here, Tuttle, Kiski, Tuttle, Cuddle team leader. Uh, brings the same type of weapon because this is in the game. They use a lot of the same weapons and borrow from each other. Nice, the clip here is painted in gray. Some nice gray highlights. Even some design here it looks like a little graphic design of the knife. As you see there, I want like a little knife embroidered right there. A nice beige tone and black handles, black highlights here in the hilt, and the holster, and the actual grip of the gun. Very nice. And then his backpack is basically what is a uh, looks like a unicorn um, life lifeguard a preserver thing uh, one of those life balloons that go in the water <laughs> that's that looks like a very white bright rainbow colored unicorn this is really cool uh, very silly in nature and toyetic but painted really nicely very clean cut and then of course we have you know drift himself here as you can see and we'll pull them out. Obviously, again, like I said, it brings the base, Fortnite, as you see there. And, uh, you know, wish this was white. But maybe you could paint that yourself. It won't be so hard. But it's nice that it brings the base, you know, all together. And then we'll go here to the figure itself, which is Drift. As you can see, how beautifully painted the mask is of it looks to be a chihuahua with this silvering and coloring in the eyes and then the nice uh, design in gold here on the top as you can see very nice looks almost like something from uh, uh, the Stargate you know uh, Pharaohs now this is rubber here this vest he got on that looks like a hoodie makes him look like a mark echo type character a, a freestyle painter if you will uh it's in a very nice soft rubbery plastic uh even though you can see the details in the fridges right inside if you look closely it makes it look like a uh, uh, goose vest, nice paint job, a zipper, and kind of hinders the movement, but you can move it, but it won't stay. It has a still, still has the same range. It just hinders it because it's glued on the top, but it has also the waist swivel, and it has the ab crunch. You can still move it and feel it and kind of leave it there, and it will stay. See. It's just a little bit hindered uh, because of the the vest. You see, he has a T-shirt underneath, which is also a nice touch. The side stripe on his on his shirt in black uh, of hot pink. Then he has some highlights of yellow on his wrist here. Almost looks like a brace a lit. And then the glove is a mixture of black with yellow, and the highlight of pink. Same thing here on his other hand. And articulation is pretty much the same. You know, with the this one, even though this these shoulders on the top, uh the ball joints on the shoulders don't feel as ratchety, and then it has the swivel in the bicep. Double jointed elbows, which is always nice because you get a really nice range. You can do the symbol of a heart like this, <laughs> for example. Like heart, yay! See, <laughs> then you have uh, the nice looking uh, pants. It looks like jeans, cut up really nice with the bags. Uh, you know, pockets here, pockets here with a stripe of pink. Again, it moves this way, and then you can also when you move it that way, you can move it from side to side. <coughs> The uh, double jointed uh, 
knee. Touch the buttocks there. And really nice looking radical uh, sneakers. Really nice and radical. Really nice, col nicely colored. As you can see, they look like high top sneakers with the straps in yellow, which would be his shoelaces, the touches of hints and highlights of pink, the white outline, the black, white and pink tongue. They look really good in the bottom sole, being the rubber in white with the toe tips here. It kind of breaks up the, you know, Arctic, the, the scope, but it looks good. These are really cool looking. Yeah, they look really good on him. Looks like a Mark Echo character. Like I said, here's the back. With the peg hole for his backpack. Really, really nice. Really cool looking. So now let's put his, his accessories on for drift. So we have here... the lifeguard life bag uh, I think they're going more but again this is so soft right now the rubber I don't want to force it in this is backpack then we got the uh, the AK, <laughs> I think it's the AK. I don't really know the proper names of guns, it's not my thing, but that's what it looks like to me an AK machine gun. Put it up. Having my stand really awesome there. And then his me smell it, obviously. Me smell it? <laughs> you don't know that's a correct term. Excuse me if I'm wrong. I stand corrected. I'm trying to put it in his hand here. Ah, it's kind of difficult because the hands and everything is all nice and and tight. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. So we got him here. Pretty much ready to rock out. Being a bad mofo. Can't even stay turned. Then we'll put him on the base. Like so. That's pretty tight. There we go. So, yeah, man. Here is Drift. And I think he looks really awesome. I think he's going to be the favorite out of these two from Wave 2. Uh, you can find them, like I said, in your local game stops. I think some of them have extra because the first Wave sold so well. Uh, these figures are becoming more highly and highly sought after because the word is spreading. That the figures are really good quality. And are worth your time, especially for the very big and uh, action figure enthusiasts out there that, you know, love collecting figures that are nice. No matter whether they like the properties or not. They just like amazing, good figures. Drift, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, they are going for a price range of around 20, I want to say 20... Hmm, twenty four ninety nine. 
Some bases may be $22.99. If you can find them in Target, I think they're $19.99. Uh, the thing is, it's very hard to get things at Target. Uh, you know, um, at, at the price that you're looking for because uh, Target is very bad in my experience so far with Target through the years. Target has been very bad with uh, st how they stock things. It's very hard that you go in Target and find things. Uh, with the exception of maybe NECA now because NECA sends people themselves to take care of this stuff. Which is a little different. But uh, I hope you guys have luck finding them. For those of you who really appreciate it. I hope you like my little showcase. You know, forward slash review of Rex and Drift. Uh, from Wave 2 of the McFarlane 7-inch Fortnite action figure series line. And they're really beautiful figures. They look really awesome uh, next to each other. So I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy them. Very much so, especially if you enjoyed the first wave. Uh, when I get the next two figures in the wave, I hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing and review them and open them and showcase them. Uh, I thought they were all going to come out at the same time, but I guess not. They're supposed to be expected in, <coughs> I think sometime, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, sometime in May. So... Happy hunting, guys, with these figures. Like I said, check your local game stops. And check also Target uh, for some of you out there where your Target may stock well and, and you have ease to find a lot of things. Uh, the Fortnite figures, Rex and Drift from Tom McFarlane. Uh, 22 points of articulation. I think they're really awesome. Beautiful paintwork. Uh, you know... Very simple style and look, but very wonderful in uh, quality uh, looking and feeling type of figures. Uh, leave me a comment, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like them. Tell me if you like the way I reviewed them or not. Uh, everything uh, is appreciated. Uh, constructive criticism, good criticism, bad, you know, it's all uh, for to make things better uh, as your... As you view my stuff, uh, you know, I enjoy doing it, and that's what matters. And I hope that you guys feel the same when you come here and watch my videos. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Share it with someone that you think might enjoy it. Uh, and like it to help me out, or dislike it if you don't like it, uh, to help my channel uh, get some awareness and grow. Till the next time, guys. I'll see you in the next Toys in My Closet. Love you. Peace.